Hello, welcome back to Chris's beer reviews and in tonight's video we're looking at another new one that's from Tesco's. Uh, this is the last Tesco's beer that I picked up. I picked up three so this is my third one and it's the London Beer Factory Jungle Trip. A New England Pale Ale coming in at 5.3% ABV. There it is. Cracking artwork from the London Beer Factory looking very nice indeed so this one i think this was uh, in the two pound 40 range as well so let's crack it open let's see how she looks see how she sniffs and see how she tastes hope you're doing well hope you've had a good day my day's been pretty good I had the luxury of working from home today which is always nice In she goes, and looking good. Let's put the glass there so you can see that a bit better. So there she is in the glass, a lovely head, nice tight sort of head going on there. Lovely hazy, hazy looking as you'd expect. Looks nice, doesn't it? Nice sort of orangey colours going on. Looks really nice in the glass, that, doesn't it? Let's see how she sniffs. Oh, that's taken a while. Grapefruit. Definitely grapefruit and definitely lemon. It's very citrusy. It's very citrusy. Which is why I'm just getting mainly grapefruit and lemon. Is all I'm getting on that aroma. I'm not getting a huge amount more of that. For the way that looks, and that lovely little head, I was expecting stronger aromas than that. But that's all I'm getting. I'm not going to add more just for the sake of it. That is all I'm getting. So let's see how she tastes. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. That's pretty good. That is good. Yeah, that's good. Good carbonation as well. It's got a lovely, lovely piney sort of bitterness sitting on the back. Really good bitterness, almost sharp bitterness sitting on the back. That's a nice bitterness. That's the type of bitterness that I like. That's good. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, I hate the word nice. That, that is good. That piney citrus kick on the back. Bitterness almost making it dry in your mouth is really, really nice. Um, moves, which leads me onto the mouthfeel, which is nice. Not thick, but not thin. It's, it's in the middle. It's a nice sort of medium mouthfeel. And it's got... And it... Yeah, that, that sort of citrusy bite to it really, it's not sour, but it really dries your mouth. It's almost pulls your mouth in, but not through sourness, but through the dryness. That's really nice. It's, it's got a, a floralness to it, a spiciness to it. And that spiciness works really well with that citrusness. I like it. And it's got some nice... Nice flavours going on. The citrus and the lemon are, are really quite powerful. Really causing that bitterness, which has almost got a pininess to it as well on the back. On the front, there's a very slight sweetness of the more sort of subtle flavoured tropical fruits like the passion fruit and the mango. And a mango is a lovely fruit, but it's, it's a soft fruit. And that's what you're getting on the front. You're getting the mango on the front with the passion fruit and it just moves in to this almost spicy but floral, citrusy, piney finish on the back. That is really, really nice. Very nice. Hmm. Wow, that finish on the back is lush. That's so up my street. I like that. 
I like that a lot. And I've been concerned with the pricing at Tesco's and I was worried that the breweries are getting mugged off and having to reduce things, but that's good. That is good. I've reviewed the um, Salt Huckaback and I've reviewed the Vocation Trihopical. Tr this is the best out of the three of those by far. Absolutely by far. That I would pay three pounds for easily. Absolutely happily pay three pounds for that. I've had some London Beer Factory beers before. I don't think I've ever reviewed a London Beer Factory on the channel. I really don't think I have, but I certainly have had some of their beers and some of them I wasn't impressed with, but this is good. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, so there's not much more I can say. So I'll just round it up again for you. The aromas I was disappointed with. I'm going to burp, excuse me. <coughs> Call that gang back. <coughs> God, yeah. That bittery pininess just came straight back. Um, where was I? Where was I? Aromas. Aromas. Uh, really disappointed on the aroma. And, and then I just thought, the aromas are bad. The taste is going to be bad. But the taste is fantastic. Like I say, lovely on the front. Almost a sweetness on the front. From the passion fruit and the mango. The soft sort of fruity flavours. Just blending in nicely to that grapefruit hit. Citrus hit. Lemon hit piney hit on the back given that bitterness of a slight sort of bit of floralness and almost a spicy element to it drying your mouth out almost making you you know really want to try and find some moisture in your mouth and i love that absolutely love that that's a really nice beer would i recommend it hell yeah um would i buy it again i would absolutely be buying that again what did i say the abv was 5.3%, yeah, that's a good beer, 5.3%, happily, happily sink a few of these. As long as they don't repeat on me like that <laughs> burp did. Um, all good, all good, I like it. Um, great stuff. Let me know what you think if you've had it. And I'm all done, I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.